human wants another human that is brainless okay so you want to be attractive in the sense that you want to be knowledgeable hey y'all welcome back to my channel my name is kenzie and in today's video i'm going to be talking about how to become an attractive woman okay um this is a topic that a lot of us um talk about most times even in our daily lives with our friends and sometimes we don't talk to anybody about it we just go online and we google about it and we just want to know how to be an attractive woman okay and talking about being an attractive woman it depends on the kind of attraction you're looking to be okay do you want to be an attractive woman that is sexually you know attractive or are you trying to be an attractive woman that is a woman that is um, um, a wife material kind of person or somebody that is of value okay so it depends on what your attraction is but for this video I am talking specifically about being an attractive woman in the sense of value okay that is in the sense of your Self, um, being in self growth and developing yourself and being able to be attractive not just to the opposite gender but to other women likewise okay so that's what I want to talk about in this video let's get to it right now guys okay so I may not know a lot about being attractive but I'm gonna share my tips with you guys and stuff that I think helps um, in trying to be an attractive woman okay so I'm gonna share with you guys what I think about it the first thing you want to do or the first step to being an attractive woman is self growth self growth concludes and it encompasses of self-love self-discipline and self-worth okay so before you can be attractive you need to love yourself okay you need to be able to value yourself in the way that you expect other people to value you okay you don't want to debrief yourself or you don't want to um, be somebody that has low self-esteem or somebody that doesn't feel or carry themselves in a way that proves that they are self-worthy or that they have self-growth and self-love and you know stuff like that and when I talk about self-love you're gonna do this in a way that pretends that you actually a human some people want to go all feminine about it but self-love doesn't mean that you rely solely on yourself okay uh, being attractive another thing to being attractive is actually the fact that you're able to have people around you um, 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 help you out when you need the help okay so this is something that you should not confuse okay a key note to being an attractive woman is the fact of your words okay your words um i know this might come as a shocker to some people but being an attractive woman has to do with how you're able to put your words in order and how often you speak how to know when to speak and when to keep quiet you know um i once heard this from a person and it stuck with me okay because before i started um looking into being attractive and being a woman of value i was always a talkative okay and i always made conversation and not that i was a talkative in the sense that i was saying things that were crap i just love to always talk about stuff and to express myself in words and but when i heard this quote it said the power of a woman lies in her words her ability to keep quiet and to speak when she has to Man, it changed everything for me guys and when I heard that I was just blown away and it began to remind me of times where I sold myself out cheaply because I was always talking I always had something to say okay so you need to in order to be an attractive woman of value you need to know when to talk when to be quiet you need to know how to com compose yourself or compose your sentences before you say them optimally or simply you need to reason your thoughts before before you let them loose okay so the power of a woman lies in her words her strength her ability to keep calm and quiet so if you want to be a woman that is attractive a woman that is attractive of value a woman that people want to hang around you need to understand that you say what needs to be said and you keep quiet when nothing needs to be said okay another way to be attractive is the fact that you are able to be socially inclined in respect to kindness okay so you're a kind person kind people are very attractive people um, a lot of people fall in love with people or they just take a liking to somebody because of their kindness I've had that happen to me a lot of times um, people just like me or they just grow this fondness around me because I am nice to them or because they see that I am kind and I do not discriminate okay so if you want to be a woman of value you need to be kind but here's something you want to know 
<clears throat> and this is this is something I wish was told to me or this is something I wish somebody had said to me earlier while on the journey of becoming a woman of value and it's the fact that despite being kind you need to set boundaries okay so sometimes we're on the journey to being a woman of value and you forget to set boundaries um, you forget to you know cut people off people that don't need to be around you should not be around you you need to be able to actually make sure that your environment is filled with um, the people you want to be okay you hang around the people you see yourself as or the people you won't have a problem with becoming okay so you want to set boundaries while being kind don't be kind to a fault that people take advantage of you because a lot of people out there are looking for kind people and then most times they mistake your kindness for being naive it has happened to me a lot okay so if you want to be a woman of attractive value then you want to make sure that you're kind with um boundaries that's where the respect comes in okay so i could be kind to you but there are certain boundaries you shouldn't pass you should know that in this regard you cannot disrespect me in the sense okay another thing i want to talk about is that a woman of value a woman that's trying to be attractive you know in value um is always a planner okay she has her goals she has her dreams you want to be self-reliant that's the whole point okay so you want to be attractive in the sense that you're a self-reliant person nobody wants a liability trust me um i have had situations in the past where i was kind of like a liability and it takes away respect and regard for people um even people you expect to actually not feel that way sometimes even family you know um and if you want to be an attractive woman you need to learn to be self-reliant set your plans set your goals make your careers don't lean on people okay um for stuff like that try to get your finance in order try to you know make sure that you are your own boss okay you're, you're able to be self-reliant and you're able to lean on yourself you're able to have plans you're able to have goals you're able to have dreams and walk towards them okay so that kind of woman it's an attractive woman to anybody be it a man or another woman i realized this that on my journey you know to being an entrepreneur and understanding finances and all when i started learning and getting all of the everything just started checking out with people like i was literally becoming attractive just by talking crazy thing you want to do um is that you want to make sure that you are knowledgeable okay you're a knowledgeable person in the sense that you you know about stuff you want to be able to read more books you want to have more um um, power or stands in a, in a healthy conversation or have a lot of intelligence to you know give out when it comes to a conversation those kind of women are attractive women okay nobody wants a woman that knows nothing nobody even wants a man that knows nothing no human wants another human that is brainless okay so you want to be attractive in the sense that you want to be knowledgeable you want to read books you want to have healthy conversations you need to be able to host conversations that are of great impact okay and it's something that has really helped me okay I keep saying it because I'm also on the process of becoming an attractive woman of value and this is stuff that I am learning and stuff that I wish I knew earlier okay that's why I'm able to make this video guys so you want to read more books I discovered that when I started reading more books it opened my eyes to a lot of things financially um, even relating to logical instances of life and stuff like that it was just amazing and guys trust me that knowledge is power as they say you want to be somebody that can contribute to a conversation you can't be taken on awares you're asked a question and you're able to actually answer it in a way that is very knowledgeable it's amazing it's a very attractive feature woman of value i know guys you must have been expecting this but i'm gonna say it anyways a woman of value or attractive value needs to be happy on her own yeah so you need to make sure that you're a happy person okay try out hobbies um, make to-do lists and try to keep up with them and just try to be happy in your own space you don't need somebody else to make you happy most women feel like they need a man to compliment them to make them happy and when the man is gone your whole world crumbles but if you're a woman that is able to stand up on her own and you're able to be happy by yourself like 
you don't need anybody and you're able to actually make yourself happy on your own it's a big flex okay and it's something that is very attractive because it shows most times that you you can't you can't you're gonna be okay like i can do this on my own and guys it's it's an amazing feature in a woman another attractive feature in a woman is the fact that she is able to comport herself she's able to stay pretty okay so you want to get on that machine you want to go do those workouts you want to make sure that your skincare is on point and you want to be neat okay your feminine hygiene and every other hygiene has to check out okay a woman an attractive person everybody likes a clean person okay you want to make sure that you're a clean person and it shows in your hands um, in your work in your dress clothes and you just want to be somebody that portrays this confidence okay so when you radiate confidence just me guys people are attracted to confident people they are attracted to people that are neat to people that can hold themselves down and it's just amazing so if you're looking to be an attractive woman you need to get your hygiene game right get your workout stay physically fit mentally socially try to make sure that your mind is at peace and try to make sure that you carry this confidence within you okay so yeah another or the last thing i'm going to talk about today because i'm trying to keep this video short i don't want to say too much i just want to give you the important information okay um another thing you want to note is that in order to be an attractive woman of value you need to be able to differentiate the emotional from the logical conversation the other day um i got this knowledge from somebody very dear to me and he said while he was studying and reading through a book he discovered that in the book there's an estimation that a population of people or people in general tend to be more emotionally inclined than logical when in emotional situations okay let's say you're faced up with a challenge and then you get emotional by it so you become 24 times more or four times sorry four times more something about that that amount but you become more times more emotional to decision making than logical so you're in a state of decision making and you're emotional about it and you forget how to be logical and you make those decisions in that emotional state and high other and then it's all messed up it happens with relationships it happens with your job with your family so a woman of attractive values has to work on being able to make logical and emotional something of difference okay you need to it's not easy guys trust me i know i'm a very emotional person Seen. and most times when I get emotional I make the worst of the worst decisions okay but a woman of attractive value is trying to like make sure that there's a breach you know the difference between being emotional and being logical and if you know or you start getting emotional about certain things just don't talk like let's say for instance you're having an argument with your spouse or your boyfriend or your husband and um, you're having this argument and now you're emotional about the whole thing and then you zone out and you start saying stuff that you're not supposed to say because now you're so emotional and you're not logically thinking anymore so you're not thinking about how much this person means to you and how you know you want to be with them now you're getting emotional and you're saying stuff so when it comes to that kind of um, thing you as a woman of value you need to be able to stop it's either you keep quiet that's where the quietness of the power of a woman comes so you can either keep quiet about it and just let it go or you could just walk away or just find a way to just calm down okay so a woman of value needs to know the difference about being emotional and being logical okay Hey guys so that's it for this video i hope these tips were helpful this is stuff that has really helped me and if you stick to my channel and you subscribe in the long run i'm going to show you guys step by step how i get through life and a whole video to show you guys a full daily routine of my life and stuff like that so you want you don't trust me guys you don't want to miss out for that um so you could subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notification button so you get notified anytime i post a new video and if you're an older returning subscriber thank you for constantly coming back to support my channel i hope this video was helpful and i hope you remember that being a woman of attractive value means that you are able to discipline yourself in every aspect of your life okay the friends you keep the boundaries the kindness and all emotions are in place so yeah you're able to be self-reliant and confident guys okay and yeah that's it for this video like i said this channel is about skincare wellness product reviews and weight gain stuff like that 
together if you're up for that guys please subscribe to the channel i'm gonna leave a few links in the description um to other links on my channel and other links as well feel free to check them out and guys i remain kenzie and i will be more than happy to see you in my next video bye for now